In this video, I'll teach you how to create your own LUTs in Premiere Pro in three simple steps even if you're a beginner. The LUTs that you just saw in the intro sequence are from my brand new cinematic LUT pack which you can use to make your footage look more stylized or more cinematic. If you're interested in it, I've got it linked in the description below. Now obviously you don't need to buy my cinematic LUT pack cause in this tutorial I'll teach you how to make your own LUTs and how to color grade your footage to make it look more professional. Also, I'll show you how to use those lots and by the end of the video, I'll give you free lots. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video. Now, before we go into color grading and making the lots, you have to make sure that your footage is properly color corrected. For those of you who don't know what color correction means, it means making sure that your footage appears natural to the human eye. Essentially, color correction means that you have the right exposure, contrast, white balance, saturation, and skin tones. If you feel unsure about color correction, don't worry, you can always pause this video and watch my color correction tutorial from the card here or from the link in the description below. And believe me, it will make a lot more sense to you then. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. First, go left to the project folder, right click, new item, and create an adjustment layer. Click OK, and then drag the adjustment layer on top of the footage to the timeline and extend the adjustment layer to match the length of the footage. Select adjustment layer, go to the upper right corner to Lumetri color. If you can't find Lumetri color, go to the upper left corner and go to window and make sure Lumetri color is selected. I've already got it selected, so I can just go to the right corner and go to curves. And now we're gonna go down here to the hue saturation curve and select the pen tool. Then we're gonna go to the footage and click on something orange. And now I'm gonna increase the saturation of the orange by pulling it up a little bit just like that. Then we're gonna select the pen tool and this time we're gonna select something green. And now we're gonna decrease the saturation of the green by pulling it down a little bit. Now we're gonna go to the HSL secondary panel. We're gonna select the pen tool and we're gonna select the skin tones and oranges. And if we check this box, we can see the selection of the colors and we can adjust the colors by sliding these sliders and also by clicking on these pen tools and refining the selection until we're happy. This looks pretty good, but let's make the selection a bit more smoother. Let's denoise it to around 60% and let's blur it to around 20%. That looks a lot better. And here we can see our selection now what we're gonna do is we're gonna invert the selection by clicking on this. Now we've selected everything else but the oranges and the skin tones. Now let's go down here to the color wheel and pull down the selection of the colors to the teal area. That's pretty good. Now let's uncheck this box and we've got the teal and orange look. Looks pretty good. But let's do this one more thing to make the color grade and the LUT a little bit better. So we're gonna use the RGB curves to add a bit of contrast, lift the shadows and pull down the highlights and make it look even better. So we're gonna do a bit of an S curve here with the RGB curve. Here's what it looks like without the S curve. 
and here's with the S curve. And to make this color grade into a lot, all you have to do is to go to the upper right corner, click on the three lines, and then click on export.cube, then type on the name, teal and orange free, and then save it. To use the lot, drag the adjustment layer on top of the footage, extend the adjustment layer to match the length of the footage, and select the adjustment layer. Go to Lumetri tab, Creative tab, look, browse, and select the lot and open. If you want to use the lot that we just created in this video, then you can download it for free from the link in the description below, and you can use it for absolutely free in any of your videos, whether it's a personal project or a commercial video. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.